What gives a girl power and punch? Is it charm? Is it poise? No, it's hairspray. What gets a gal asked out to lunch? Is it brains? Is it dough? No, it's hairspray. Today we're going to talk about a hair tool called a hair rat. And I did this hairstyle using a hair rat in the back. See this nice roll? That's from the hair rat because I do not have anywhere near that much hair. So um, there are a couple different ways you can get hair rats. Um, you can do it old school, like ladies of the past did, and save the hair from your hair brush, and then you stuff it into a nylon and then sew the end shut. If you are grossed out by your own hair and you don't want to go that route, or like me, I just dyed my hair, so I haven't had time to collect enough. Um, there's a couple other options. You can make them out of uh, knee highs. So this is one. It's just full of just um, batting and sewn closed at the end. And then you want to attach some kind of clips. Now these are um, actually two pay clips and they hold on your head really well. So if you can um, get your hands on some toupee clips, uh, that would be really good. I don't know where you find these because I actually made this in a hair rat class and they were supplied. I don't know if you can get them at Sally's or not. Um, but you can also use just regular clips. Uh, you might even be able to work out uh, something with bobby pins. So on a bobby pin to help hold in your hair. So once you have your giant sock, you can run this through your sewing machine to um, make smaller ones. What you would do is you would just sew two lines and then cut in between them. And so this is one where I've already done that. So here's a little short guy. And then you can see there's a whole lot of fluff sticking out. Then I just colored it black with a sharpie to make it less noticeable or whatever hair color you have. If you have lighter hair you can go to um, use like a white or an off-white colored stocking and color them and uh, I'll leave some information down in the info box from the product that was suggested to me in my class. I've not tried it out um, because I also had the black one to start out with. Another thing you can do is you can get a chignon form which comes in like a donut shape and then clip it to make it flat and then you can clip into smaller pieces. You can get those at Sally's and I've also seen them at Claire's and they come in different hair color colors. Um, hair rats are good for lots of things. They're good for making any kind of roll, these kind of roll things. Um, I'm thinking about chopping this one into some smaller pieces to do for victory rolls because this was originally going to be for victory roll, but that would be a really, really, really big victory roll. My hair is not that long. Um, you can also use them if you want to do kind of an Edwardian or romantic type hairdo. You could put one in the front, kind of like a bump it, and pull your hair over, or one maybe further back for 60s styles. So there's really a lot of things you can do with hair wraps. If you have really thick hair, you probably won't need hair rats in your hair unless you are going for something just huge. But they're really great for ladies like me who have thin hair. If you have um, shorter hair, not like super short hair, but shorter hair, you're trying to do something that uh, maybe needs more like yay length or longer hair to do, um, they're really great for those kinds of hairstyles. So if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. If you would like to see more hair tutorials using hair rats, go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you can be alerted whenever I post a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye. What gets a gal asked out to lunch? Is it brains? Is it dough? No, it's hair!